Thank you for coming on Push to Talk. This is Perfect from American Voice Corporation. Well, today I'm super excited to be here because today we're going to talk about a very quick lesson that will be based on the base of mathematics symbols. Well, is this mathematics? No, I'm not going to get deep into mathematics. I'm simply going to give you some basic of mathematics signs or some basic of mathematics symbols you use and you know so stick along with me and you're going to learn what they represent and how we call the result of it before you get to worry make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time when i post new videos now let's go here is the list of basic mathematics symbols so i'm going to give their names and you're going to discover and i'm going to give some examples that will be in english we're going to start with the first one. You see this one? How do we call it? In English, we call it the plus sign. In French, you sometimes call it l'addition. But in English, we call it the plus sign or the addition sign. What is it used for? It has a notion of positive. That means any number bigger than zero, it is a positive number. And that can be written with or without a plus sign in front of it. For example, when I say plus seven and I write it like this plus seven or when I remove the plus it's I write it like this it's the same there is no difference second it represents the operation of the addition for example when I take three plus five equals eight you can say five added to three makes eight you can even change you can say three added to five makes eight or you can even say five added to three, you get eight. You see that there are different ways for you to read this uh, exercise in English. And the results that we get of the addition, we call it the sum. For example, when I say three plus five, we get eight, which means eight, this is the, the result and we call it the sum. This is the way we call it. After this, let's go to the second one, which is this one. We call it minus. Don't say minus, but we say minus. What does it represent? It represents a notion of a negation or a negative. Any number smaller than zero, it is a negative number. And it is written with a minus sign before it. For example, when I say minus three, it means it's a, neg a negative number. And how do we read this? It's very simple you just need to say 8 minus 5 equals 3 or you can say 5 subtracted from pay attention i precise 5 subtracted from 8 equals 3 on the last one if you subtract 5 from 8 you get 3 and the very last one is if you take 5 from 8 you get 3 here are different ways for you guys to say or how to read this uh, exercise in English. And uh, the result of the subtraction, we call it the difference. Difference like the difference between American English and British English. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. So when I say the difference, this is the result of the subtraction. And when you say 8 minus 5 equals 3, so 3 is the difference. The next symbol it is this one. How do we call it? We call it the time sign or multiplication sign. It represents multiplication. For example, when you take this, you can say 5 times 6 equals 30. Or you can say 5 multiplied by 6 equals 30. Or you can even say 5 sixes equals 30. And the last one is if you multiply 5 by 6, you get 30. Here are different ways for you guys to read this exercise and in English, in the easiest way. Now, the results of multiplication, we call it the products. This is the way we call it. And for example, if I say 5 multiplied by 6, I get uh, 30 or 30. This is the products. And we go to the next one, which is this one. How do we call it? We write it like this or like this and we call it division this is what we call it the division sign represents division when you take for example 15 this one this one equals this 
How do you read it? You can say 15 divided by 3 equals 5 or 5 goes into 15 three times or if you divide 15 by 3 you get 5 and last if you divide 3 into 15 you get 5 and this is the easiest way guys for you to read this exercise in English while using the division about the results we call it the quotients this is the way we call the results of the division by the quotient I mean I take an example when you take 15 we divide it by by 3 we get 5 which means 5 is the quotient or 5 is the, uh, the quotient is 5 the next one we call it less than I give an example can you read this one we read it 3 is less than 4 and this is the way we read it it shows the inferiority and the next one which is this one which is actually the opposite of the first one and how do you pronounce it this is greater than greater than I give an example 4 is greater than 3 4 is greater than 3 and after this one you understand that this is the superiority and the next one is this symbol we call it not equal to not equal to I give an example 5 is not equal to 3 it's different or X is not equal to Z they are totally different or you are not equal to me you're totally different we are actually different and um, the next one here we have we call it greater than or equal to this is the way we call it I give an example X is greater than or equal to Z and the next one is the opposite of the first that would have just given this one we say less than or equal to I give an example Z is less than or equal to X and finally I actually wanted to tell the last one this one we call it equals all the equal signs we often put it with uh, S so do not say 2 plus 2 equal or no we say 2 plus 2 equals 4 this is what we say remember when we spoke about the grammar we said we should put we should normally put s at the end of the verb so this is the way you should normally do it i hope you'll be using it because actually i think you might be dealing with uh, accounting or you might be dealing with numbers and maybe you have faced different difficulties while talking about uh, numbers now let me try to summarize it for you guys so that you can understand what i want to say first of all i spoke about operations we got plus we got minus we got times and we have a div divided by and i gave some examples and I, I told you how to read and the result i said we have the sum we have the difference we have the the product and the last one was the quotients so thank you very much for watching this video hope you like it and uh click on the subscribe button do not forget to turn on the notification bell i'll be coming with other new lessons like this one so if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to share peace